Hi, I'm Julian Frost, N3JF, your ham radio sensei. Onegaishimasu. Ham Radio Outlook recently attended the ARRL Pacific Division Ham Radio Convention, otherwise known as Pacificon. During the show, I asked some of the vendors to talk about their products. In this video, I spoke with Marcus Gilson, AK7MG, and asked him to tell us about his product, Remote TX. Hello, my name is Marcus Gilson with uh, Remote TX, um, and we have a solution that allows you to remotely control your uh, radio through the internet with a uh, cloud service, and it can be controlled uh, on any modern browser, such as an iPad or an iPhone or an Android PC or Mac. And uh, the way it works is you uh, download an image from Remote TX, a custom image for your Raspberry Pi, and you image it and put it on the Pi, and then you sign up for a uh, activation account that's uh, tied to your call sign. And we create a website with your call sign, like for my, in my example, it's ak7mg.remotex.net, and uh, we give you a uh, key file that you put on the uh, Raspberry Pi, and all you have to do then is take the Raspberry Pi and plug it into an Ethernet network and by USB into your radio and turn it all on and then log into your new custom website and you're able to remotely control your radio. So I can show you um, here on an iPad, this iPad right here is controlling the ICOM 7300 below it. And so it gives you a fairly complete control of the radio, such as the VFO, you can switch bands. So like if I want to switch to the 40 meter band, I can do that. Um, you can, uh, if you're familiar with the ICOM 7300, you can control most of the things that are uh, controlled on it. The audio is built into the browser, so you don't have to install anything extra on the PC or the uh, iPhone or the, uh, the iPad. All you have to do is just open up the browser. There's no plugins, um, and you have control of your radio. Uh, the other thing that's uh, interesting is that uh, it uses a very low bandwidth, so it works very well on hotspots, uh, both at the radio end or at the user end. And there's a few other features that, uh, things you can do to expand it. There's probably not time to go into it now. There are some basic uh, control of relays uh, for antenna switching and some things you can do to extend it um, to control a few other parts of your sta station. It's a system that's uh, under very active development it's been in production since uh, uh, July of 2018, and uh, we have users all over the world in about six different continents. The uh, cloud service is put nearest to your radio. So if you're in the East Coast or the West Coast, uh, the uh, service that you use is put on a server that's closest to you for maximum uh, efficiency. Anyhow, if you're interested in checking it out, go to remotetx.net. There's more information, and um, there's a 30-day free trial. So if you want to try it out and you have one of the supported radios, uh, that's a good way to find out if it's a good solution for you.